Hey everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady, Mr. Cole, coming at you today with another topic that's near and dear to my spirit. So let's get into it. Let's just talk about it. So today's topic is what the things that you will do that you will need to do to keep a man. So that's what we're going to talk about. The things that you should be willing to do if you want a man. The things that you should be willing to do. If you want a man, today's topic is about the things that you should be willing to do if you want to keep a man. Simple, right? So we think. So today, ladies, NicoleArcher.com is my website. Take a look. I got some great things for sale, some digital downloads, some books. I got some great books on Amazon. I'm your sister from a different mister. If you're having relationship problems, you're trying to get your house in order, figure out a game plan for the next moves for your life, let's talk one-on-one. Period. We need someone to have your best interest in heart and give you some great advice. That's me. All right. So I'm going to look out for you. Um, and I have some great books to help you with your personal. I have some great books on Amazon to help you with your personal and spiritual development. Right. To help you become that beautiful butterfly that's all the that larva right now. We're in the larva. So. Back to business. So let's talk about it. So some of the things that I know, know you're going to be like, I don't want to hear that. But if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong in the comments. So let's just talk about it. So some things that you should be willing to do if you want a man. The, the biggest thing that you should be willing to do if you want to have a man, a man <clears throat> in these days is be reasonable. Be reasonable, right? If a man is trying, putting forth an effort to court you and show you that he's interested in you, don't put him in the friend zone and you still dating other guys. That is so, like, not cool. If you don't, I mean, it's, it's a privilege for a woman to attract a man to her, right? For you to attract a man to you, for him to be interested in you, for him to want to love you and stuff, like, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and some women never, like, get a guy that really be feeling them like that. So, for, when a guy does that to you, the best thing to do is just submit and chill with him. And see where you can, see where, see where things can go. Stop thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. Like, you got to have so many opportunities to find really real love. You know, it, it's not often. You know, and then they got this thing called karma. So what happens is, like, if you get a guy and you dog him out, like, you, you won't spend the next maybe five or to seven to ten years with somebody who is just going to drag you. He's going to do you all kind of ways because you walked away and did somebody wrong who really was really wanting to love you. And when God sends somebody in a way that really cares about you, like, you should feel obligated to, like, want them to want you because... Some of us, our parents didn't even want us. And for you to find somebody outside your family that really gives a care about you and that sees the beauty and the love inside of you, like you should want to nurture that. You should like be like, wow, you think I'm special? You know, you think I'm special. Ooh, we, I got to, I think you special too because you but see something in me that I don't see. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's not, that's not nothing, <laughs> you know, so. Something else that you should be willing to do if you want a man is you should be able to share. Like, it ain't, you know, I'm not making no excuses for nobody. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we make more money than our men. You know, if you make more money than your man, all go good and fine. Like, you should share with him. It's not, no, I'm not giving him nothing. What you mean? You want him to share with you, you should be willing to share with him. When you order you big bags of things, you should order him big bags of things. If he needs something, you should look out for him. Don't be so selfish and think that, like, don't be so selfish and think that it's cool, cool for you to, like, neglect his needs. And then you still want to be called this woman to lay up beside him. It don't make me feel good to know, like, I got all kind of new stuff and my man don't have nothing. You know, even if my man got the money and he don't like to shop for himself, because men don't really like to shop for themselves. Men don't, some men, you know, some men like to shop for themselves, some men they don't. But depending on the kind of man that you got, you know, 
if your man not like that and you see he need things take care of him what's wrong with that he paying maybe his focus is like the bills and our focus be like the house and things that we need around the house you know what i'm saying so and if you still paying your portion of the bills then you should still look out for your man i mean i don't understand why we think you you know you, you gotta be willing to to give and put out that same energy that you want back. If you want somebody to love you, you want somebody to really deal with you, then you got to be willing to show them, hey, this is why I want you to deal with me like this, because I'm willing to deal with you like this. Like, So just have reasonable expectations. You only going to get what you give, right? So another thing that you should be willing to do, that you should be willing to uh, give and just, you know, just expect to just, just give it. You know what I'm saying? Another thing that you should be willing to do is be submissive. Okay? I know you don't want to hear that, but being submissive is part about being in a relationship. Nobody's telling you to be submissive and be a whipping dog. Nobody's telling you to submit to an abusive man. Nobody's telling you to submit to, you know, silence. What we're telling you is to submit to the will of what's best for the relationship. You know? You don't always have to run the show. If he's taking the wheel and he decides that he wants to do something, don't always question his authority and respect the position that you put him in in your life. You chose him to be the man. You chose to follow him. So follow him and stop making it so difficult. If he say he want peas and rice, just make peas and rice. Like do what he asks you to do. A lot of times we feel like, we don't get appreciated by men, but the reason why we don't get appreciated by men because we do shit that they don't want and we do shit that they don't like because we always think about what makes us happy. We don't ever think about what makes them happy. And sometimes just doing things for others is, is a good thing. You know, it clear, it clears your spirit. You know, you should want to do things for your man, you know, to show him that you love him. Why would he, I mean, why would he want to be around with you if you don't want to show him that? If you don't make it interesting, if you don't try to have fun with him, if you don't try to, you know, do anything, you know, why would he want you? What kind of life is he going to have with you? A lot of, a lot of y'all get guys and the guys really fall in love with you, but you know, you lose them because of your unwillingness just to fall in love with them. I mean, I understand that they hurt you and they do fuck shit sometimes. Um, that's all man that's just you know part of the thing you know and i'm not gonna say all men because it's a choice you know it's a choice it's a choice for a man to want to love you but the, that's what i'm telling you is the one that chooses you it's very important that you choose him back it's very important that you don't take his love for granted because love is not free and like i say some of us didn't even have our parents to love us so for another man to come along and see some potential in you that he just want to take care of you and spend the rest of his life loving you and taking you on vacations and doing all kind of magnificent stuff with you, that's something great. It's a blessing to be to be uh, to be chosen to be somebody's wife or somebody's priority. So we should take not take that for granted. And once we do get that. He's expecting you to do some things. He is the expectation for a wife. A wife, a lot of y'all, you want that wife title, but you're not willing to do none of the work. Like you don't want to cook. You don't want to clean. Like all those things you need to do if you want a, a man. If you plan on keeping a man, it's, it's a nice thing to have a man that cooks, but the responsibility to cooking is yours. You better learn how to cook. I want to order out all night. You better learn how to make those those restaurant style meals at home and save a few dollars and get your priorities in order. You know, you ain't got no business. Y'all got to have some more business about yourself than what you're doing. Because a man don't like a girl with no plan. And, and silly. See, a lot of y'all, you're not going to get the man. A lot of y'all not going to get the man you want because, number one, you don't even want to work. Like, a lot of y'all don't even want to work and do the basics for yourself. You think that like life is supposed to be free because you dropped out of school, you ain't paid attention, you don't know nothing. So you just want somebody to come and sweep you off your feet who got something. That don't make no sense. He don't want nobody who don't have nothing. You need to at least bring something to the table. Talking about you are the table. What do you bring to the table? Are you going to turn this house into a home and once he buy it, you're going to have to show him that. 
you know, you want to show him, you want to show him hiring maids and nannies and this. No, if he put you in the house and he make it six figures, that's your responsibility. If he put you in the house and he get paid, if he only make five figures, that's your responsibility. We all got to work. It takes two incomes. We don't live in the 60s and shit is hot. We all women, men, if you can get the kids in on the hustle, we all need to be hustling, trying to make some money because we all need money to live and everybody want to live good. You know, a lot of y'all, a lot of, I see a lot of YouTubers, they just trick, they just spend their money. They're not doing nothing with their money. You know what I'm saying? So if you are able to do something, do something constructive with your money to set your family up for something because this money don't last forever. Just like you hot now, you could be cold later. And you need to have something to show for your money other than some clothes and shit that's going to tear up and disintegrate over time. Because all them Louis Vuitton belts and all that shit is cheap and they tear up. Everything tears up. But most of the shit is just cheap and right. You know? But another thing. If you want to keep a man, if you want to always have a man around you, you need to be willing to make sure that you're willing to raise his kids right. A lot of y'all raise y'all kids, and that's why y'all kids are still, like, delayed. You know, you baby them too much. You've, you've, uh, you've totally spoiled them. You didn't prepare them for life. And so now they're kind of stagnated. So now you're going to have to get, you're going to have to kind of work them into your, pro your life's program. Or you're going to have to figure out a way to get them on the right path of, living their life and becoming a young adult. You understand? It, because, you know, depending on you, some people, you know, it just depends on how, how you want to live. You know, if you don't mind having your kids around forever and, you know, forever and ever, and, you know, always got the house full of people, then that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But I guess eventually over time, if you really want to, uh, you know, have your house to yourself, you're going to have to get your kids, help your kids get a plan help them you know get their mind right so they can begin to build something and have something for themselves you know and and don't be afraid to correct your kid when they're going wrong i know these girls don't want to hear what you got to say but so what if, if you tell them look I, i'm single or look i got a man so i want to see you with somebody so you need to listen to what i'm telling you so you when you're going out there you can use your mind just because you haven't said that don't make you grown just because you're making you some money, that don't make you grown. Just because you got your own spot, that don't make you grown. What makes you grown is you continue to acknowledge the fact that you're not grown and keep growing. That's how you get grown. You keep growing. You don't just stop and think, oh, I know everything, so I don't have to learn that. Nah, because you don't know everything. And if you think you know everything, you highly mistaken. If you was born after 1980, you've been totally brainwashed with you to something that you think you know, but you really don't. So please be un please be aware of that. You know, it's a lot of people out here that that know a lot of stuff, and you might not be one of them. So be willing to have your mind open and be willing to learn from your husband if he's trying to teach you and understand and and, and trying to groom you and raise you up to be a, a better person. We got to stop being so emotional and in our feelings and, and, and understand that it can't be our way all the time. You know, you can't have things your way all the time. Life is not about, life is about compromise. You know, that's why nothing can get done in the government because they're not willing to compromise. We have to be willing to compromise with our men. That is something that you must own and understand that sometimes he will have to have the last say. Sometimes the words that he say out his mouth is not going to feel good to your feelings. Sometimes he going to really check you and you know that you need to be checked, but the checking is for you to swallow and improve yourself. He going to keep fussing about things that you that he won't see you improving. If you are nasty, you don't like to keep a clean house, he going to continue to fuss about that house until you learn to fix to clean the house. You have no reason why, you know, I mean, I know that you work. I know that you do 40 hours a week and all this, and it is hard, this, that, and the third. But guess what? You got on that baloney pony and made all them babies and didn't have no kind of sense of thought about what you was going to do to navigate and take care of So guess what? Ain't no complaining no more. It's just time to step up to the plate and do what you need to do. Um, I'm sorry that you made it that way, but that's really what it is. You are the mother. You are the wife. That's like, that's like a whole person. That's like two people. 
not only you as the wife, you the friend, you the mother, you the doctor. You got so many responsibilities and you just, how many of your responsibilities you know you gonna neglect due to the fact that you just unprepared for your position? You're you're just totally unprepared because you don't even have the self-discipline really to understand what your position is. And you are so important and so vital to your husband and your children. You are everything. You the doctor. You the you the banker. You know, you the psychiatrist. They need you to be at your best so you can be at their best for them. Because they need they need you so much. They need you so much. And we so selfish, we don't even see that because we we too busy still trying to know what live out our childhood, still worrying about what our friends think, still trying to, I don't know, what could be more important than your husband and your kids and the roof that you gonna be living on. And the thought about who gonna help you in the later days. If you turn them out, they ain't productive. They out here dying in the streets and stuff. Why, why are we gonna stop? Why are we gonna stop acting like these not our kids out here doing this shit? So if you want a man, which I know you do, because we all we all want a man. Some of y'all just bitter because you can't have the man you want, because you found out that you're not as special as you thought you was, and the men they're not dealing with your attitude. And it is worth losing the attitude to get a man. It's, it's really worth losing the attitude because I don't understand what the hell you're so grand about. You know, why are you grand? You're in your lonely. I don't want to grow old lonely by yourself. You want something to do with your life. There's nothing more exciting than spending time with a man all alone and loving on him and raising some churn and doing some stuff, you know, get like getting some hobbies, some hobbies and some things that y'all are interested in so you could begin to make money. You can't even think about a hobby or any kind of thing until you get your house in order because you need stability. You know, you need stability. And your man brings stability into your life just like you bring stability into your man your life. Because a man brings what you like to call in-house cock. He brings in-house cock. So that way you don't have to worry about where you're going to get your cock from because your cock is already at the house. So that's 90% of your day right now. So you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to go be buying no rose. You ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is take care, love, respect, honor, and cherish your cock. And he going to be there forever. Don't try to abuse it and use it up too much. Respect it. You know, dress it up. Keep it clean, healthy. And, and do that to yourself and your kids. And always speak good things about your cock. Because you need that. Because that's your cock. Understand? So... You know, I'm just going to fall back because I know you already know what you need to know. But the things that you really need to understand is that having a man is a privilege in the later days. Because there's five a few of them who really understand what they're supposed to be doing. And when you find one that really want to do right by you and done set the tone and trying to do something, you are obligated to respect, love, honor, cherish, and support that motherfucker with every breath in your body. If you ain't going to do that, then go sit down and let somebody else do it. Don't make your man look like a sucker and a fuck nigga out here in the streets because you are the order. Don't disrespect your, the man that you give a child to by having sex with his friends. and his. I mean, what kind of respectable woman would even consider doing something like that? And still want to be in somebody's face telling I deserve another chance. It, it's certain men that's going to mess with certain women. Those men are not the men that you want to deal with. You want the man that don't want the woman that's like that because you're not like that. So don't try to be what they are. You be who you are, but improve yourself and have your emotional intelligence intact. So when you do attract that brother, you can show him that, look, you know, I'm ready. I know you, you're not, you don't even want nothing like that. So you see me for the beautiful woman that I am. And I don't have to fart fairy dust and strip at the club and do all kind of stuff to love you. You're going to love me just for my regular self. So I ain't got to put this wig on. I got to have all tons of makeup. I ain't got to do nothing special. I just got to love you. And, and I'm willing to do that because you're going to teach me how to do it. And all I got to do is listen and be open to it and committed to it. 
you know, because that's that's what the fuck else am I going to do besides get old, run the street and get taxed and jacked and robbed and law take losses. Maybe that don't sound interesting and exciting. But what does sound exciting is about melting into this man and allowing him to love me and build some kind of beautiful world for us together. That sounds wonderful. Networking with other people, getting to know other couples that share interests like we do, got kids, so our kids can network and we can come together and build something, have something. You know, we can't do it alone, but if we can get threefold like minded people to work together, we can do a lot of good shit. Yeah. So that's what I'm looking for. That's why I'm trying to help you get there. So if you maybe you could throw me a rope, but we could tie that motherfucker together and build a tent. You understand? Gather ourselves together. Ye gather together. O nation, I desire. Gather together. But you can only gather together when you get your house up on. That's why we lost so much. Because we all know some fuck shit. We all out in the streets. We all out of order. The man that you want, don't want the women that they see on the TV. Normal, everyday brothers, like average brothers that I run into, like you run into on a regular basis. We're not celebrities. We're regular people. Why are we trying to live like celebrities? Our men don't want that. They tell us that all the time. That men don't like that stuff. So why would we do that? Be, Be who you are. Let your natural beauty flow. Return to that humble spirit. Release all that negativity and that anger and shit because you ain't doing nothing but stagnating yourself. Don't nobody give a damn about you having no attitude. You want to be miserable in your feelings forever because Johnny broke your heart. Boo, that's on you. And also, too, don't be so lustful in your spirit. Understand that when you go into the gym and your vagina and all that stuff is out, they going to look because you putting it out there. They going to look because you putting it out there. If you don't want them to see that, if you don't want to put yourself out there as a as a sex object, then don't put it out there. Cover up. Cover up. They have modest workout tights with the skirt. They have modest things. We put this lust, we put all this goodness in these men's faces and expect them. It's like laying out a buffet but telling the kids, don't touch the buffet of food that we got here. They're going to mess with that food. If you want him to want you for something other than your body, Cover it up. Let your beauty show. Let your mind, let him know that you're intelligent. Let him know that you are, you're committed, you're loyal. Let him know that you understand that he's looking for a woman to be a partner and to bring something to the table other than the table and the attitude. Because coochie don't don't pay no bills and it don't keep no man. Only for a while, you know. But you can't retire on just you know, popping coochie. Or some of them might, I don't know. I don't know much about that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we're going to have to get it together, ladies. We're going to have to get it together. And we can do better. You know, if you want a man, it's just a, it's just a, a maturity mindset that you are going to have to have because it is it, because you are the key to your to your happiness. you the key to having really the life that you want. To. What are you willing to do? How hard are you going to work to try to build up your house and where you are and where you're going to grow old there? How willing are you to work with this man to help you get the way y'all trying to go? He can't do it by himself. He can't do it with you complaining all the time. He can't do it with you not wanting to help and do your part. And he damn sure can't do it with you turning the kids out to be fools. So you got to play your part. And you got to be humble. You got to respect him. You know, dis- dis- disagree. But respect. Say what you got to say, but don't put all that hot sauce in. You ain't got to be clapping and cursing. You ain't got to throw his clothes out the way. You don't have to destroy his property. You don't have to follow him in his car. You don't have to go through his phone. Because if he chose you, whatever the hell he doing, you can't stop him. So you might as well not even worry yourself or concern yourself about it. You can't stop him. Now, if he on some other, some DL stuff, now, if you find that out, now, you need to bounce because that's just playing with your life. It's a lot of diseases out there. So I hope that the type of person he is, he would have at least enough respect not to bring home no venereal diseases to you. But you can't stop him. You can't stop him. And you going out there doing tit for tat is only going to destroy you. 
So don't do tit for tat. If you find out that he cheating around and you can't take it, leave. That's all that you're going to be able to do. But don't stay with him and then you start cheating because two lefts don't make a, a, you know, two lefts don't make no sense. You know, that's not, ain't going to make it better. You doing it and he doing it too. You the one who going to end up getting pregnant. You the one who gonna be labeled as the whore, so it's just best to just not even deal with it. And and truth be told, your man don't have to cheat on you. You know that's like the worst thing that we always worry about. But is cheating like the worst thing that he could do to you? No, it's not. Cheating is not the worst thing he could do to you. You know, so I don't. I'm not worrying about the concubines that he might be out there. If you got a man that out, that got a wandering eye and everything, you are gonna have to make provisions for that. If you got a man that has shown you that he can't be trusted, you know, whatever his flaw is, you will have to figure out whether or not you can deal with that. And if you can't deal with that, but the truth be told, if he lying and cheating and stealing from you, he don't like you. If he cussing you out and hurting your feelings all the time, he don't like you. And stop holding on to, to brothers that you know don't want you. Let him go. And I promise you, once you let him go, Clean up your house, clean out that space, get yourself back in a per a, a better mindset, happy. God gonna send somebody to you. He's gonna send somebody to you. And that person that he sent to you, you can't be like, oh, I don't want that. That's that's the one that you're supposed to have because that's the one that sees you, is interested in you, and wants to 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 be there for you. You at least give him a conversation to see what he's about. You know? Because you can't control who 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 is attracted to you. And trying to fit and be everybody, what everybody wants you to be, that's just not original. Everybody can't have the eyebrows that look surprised all the time. Somebody got to try to do something different, right? So we got to try to do something different, you know, and maybe humble ourselves and understand that, you know, the world works in a little, a little different than what we may think. You know, opposites don't attract like energies attract. So when you're putting out energy and it's all sexual, 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 you're going to attract niggas that's just all about that sexual, sexual, sexual. That's just how I go. You're going to attract guys. If you've got the BBLs and all this, you're going to attract dudes that like the BBLs. If you humble and covered up and trying to be righteous and trying to be a wife, a husband is going to is going to pick you up. A husband is going to find you and pick you up. If you out there, you got that manly spirit and can't nobody touch you because you independent and you wish your motherfucker would and all this, you're going to be by yourself because don't nobody like hey, you. That's not approachable. I don't say soft and interesting and, and loving and ready to. That don't say none of that. That's it. Get away from her because she is a problem. And, you know, and if you got that high and mighty attitude, like you better than a, a, a nine to five brother. And you done lost the battle already. Because our man was not able to go, you know, to school and sit at a desk for so many hours making six figures. They don't do that. You know, our man didn't, didn't get the privilege that we got. So, you know, you got to understand that too. You know, everybody for a day is not school. And some, you know, opportunities we just don't have available. But that doesn't mean that, uh, uh, he's not worth your time. That doesn't mean that he's a bad person. It just means that we got to find him something to do. So, you know, and education and education and patience and everything. A man will pay for, uh, be patient and let a woman go back to school, but we won't let our men go back to school and, you know, explore things that they like. It's important that he's doing something that he likes to. You know, his life matters and you want him to be happy with you support some things that he likes and you know don't be so selfish but that's my time thank you so much for tuning into the average one channel i am the Miss until next time shalom